Hey guys, welcome to another Ultra Review. Today I'm going to try one of these Nathan's Famous Coney Island uh, Beef Bagel Dogs. Um, these are all beef hot dogs wrapped in bagel dough, hmm. topped with sesame, sesame seeds, dehydrated garlic, dehydrated onions, poppy seeds, and caraway seeds. So it looks, it looks really good, that picture does. Um, there are four of them in the box. It is 16 ounces, one pound, or 454 grams in the box. They were bought at Critchfield Meats, which is the only place I've seen these. They may have it other places. I'm sure they sell them all over the place. That's the only place we've seen them around here. They were $11.79 per box for four. So that's basically just a little less than $3 per, um, per bagel dog. So just keep that in mind. Um, calorie information, it's kind of an odd angle. Let me see if I can pop this up a little bit. Mm, there you go. Uh, 360 calories per bagel dog. And here's your other information for you. And the directions, I'm pretty sure, yeah, right here. So for a crispier bagel, you'll want to do them in the oven. Um, so of course we don't do ovens, but or you can do them on a micro say plate, but you have to finish it in the oven to, to start it, to in it. For a softer bagel, you can just put it in the microwave. So remove the bagel dog from the wrapper and place it on a microwave safe plate. Uh, microwave and high for at least 75 seconds. That's a weird time um, until internal reaches reaches 165. So um, So yeah, and so for like I said a crisper what you're gonna do is microwave it and then you stick it in the oven or a toaster oven to Kind of like finish it off to crisp it up and I'm of course going to use the microwave. So let's see let's See if there's a good side to open these on there's really not so we'll just Let's go right here Yeah. Wow, that's a that is glued really, really good. Let's try this side. Yeah, that side opened a little bit better. The other side was massively glued. All right, so here's what they look like. There are some toppings on there. I wonder if they all look the same, basically. If some of them are covered more than others, not really. They all pretty much look the same. So I'm gonna unwrap one of these, get it in the microwave, and I'll be back. All right, so here it is out of the microwave. And I tell you what, when I open it up, you can really smell garlic. That was the that was the strongest smell. I'm gonna cut it in half for you. It's um it's very soft. So if you want do want it crisper, you're gonna have to put it in the oven. But it's it's got a really good soft dough on it. Hot dog itself looks pretty good. So I'm going to um, get this over to the table and I'll try it out, and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm gonna. I didn't let it sit very long, honestly. That just a few like. 30 seconds maybe to sit down and set my camera up pretty much here I am so I'm gonna try it out very hot I like the chewiness of it the um, the outside the, the hot dog itself has a really good flavor I don't know that I've ever had a Nathan's hot dog Their hot dog almost has a um, almost like a sausage um, texture to it, so that's that's really good. It's it's a little a denser and tougher than a lot of hot dogs that I've had. So that's uh, like I said, I don't know. I may have had one, I just don't remember it. Um, the flavor of it is pretty good. It, the, they needed more toppings on there, honestly, to really bring the flavors out. I get a little bit of the the garlic and onion kind of flavor, but that's about it. One well, good thing is they didn't override the flavor of the hot dog itself, so that's a good thing. Um, but it does need a little few more toppings. The toppings, if you saw it on the picture, that's what they need in reality. The reality is it's not even probably a third to a fourth of what they show on the box. So, um, so if they were if they made them reality like the box, it'd probably be a really good amount of seasoning and stuff on them. So, but good, they're very very good. I love the texture. The texture is kind of chewy. I can't imagine eating these crisper. I mean, maybe if you, if it was maybe a pretzel, I don't know. Bagels aren't usually crispy though. If you think about it, a bagel kind of has that soft, tough skin on them. And then they're soft in the middle. That's kind of what these are if you microwave them. Um, maybe if they were regular bread, you'd want something crispy. I don't know, a croissant or something you want crispy, but not a, not necessarily a bagel. But I do like these. Um, I'm, they're not like the best thing ever. I'm gonna give them a four out of five. I do really like them. Um, 
I think they're a little pricey for what they are because this is all you get is, is uh, four of them this size. They are in the frozen section too, just in case I didn't mention it. They are frozen, they're not uh, refrigerated. So, um, so you can keep them in the freezer if you want. Um, yeah, I think four out of five is pretty fair. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.